All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Always beating the drum for retail investors on how you can get involved with the stock market and have the best chance of winning over time. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a status update on the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. This was somewhat of a, of a hybrid portfolio that I started uh, just less than a couple years ago. So this is going to be a two-year progress report, uh, up 35% with a shake of dividends in there as well. Dollar cost averaging this uh, on a disciplined schedule. I've done nothing to this. Uh, I've set it and I forget it and I fund it every month and it's grown quite nicely. And hopefully this can be an awesome example for you guys looking to get involved in the market and see how to succeed as a passive investor and a retail investor uh, looking to become a participant in the market and grow wealth over time, guys. So with that, we'll kick into the portfolio and conduct the review. All right, guys. So investing can be split up into two categories, and I think a lot of people get mixed up between the two, and they find themselves um, sometimes in the middle and they don't know which way to go to. I'm going to help you define um, those two different avenues, and I would encourage each and every investor out there that is coming to YouTube and seeking out awareness, information to the stock market to understand these two avenues and be honest with yourself in assessing these two different strategies in stock market investing. It is going to help you immensely in identifying what is going to work for you, okay? And the strategy that you choose, you need to understand that the strategy that you choose is going to be um, one of those things that is either measurable uh, over the long term or measurable in the short term. See, here's the thing. The two categories that I speak of, one is passive investing. Passive investing really requires you uh, to enter into the market and do so in a, a passive uh, way, which requires very little if no time. Uh, it allows you to auto set up your, um, your inflows or your funding to that. In other words, it allows you to set your dollars up for contribution every two weeks or every month. Very, very simple. Those deductions from your uh, paycheck or your regular account can come on schedule and you can set them up to, to go out automatically, okay? And it's gonna go in to fund a program, um, one similar to what I'm showing you here um, through my Vanguard uh, sector uh, portfolio, which is comprised of 11 sectors in the S&P 500, okay? You've all heard of your technology companies, your healthcare companies, your industrial companies, and your financial companies. Those are how it breaks down, down the line. And I've invested in all 11 of the major sectors in the S&P 500. Um, this is an interesting way of investing. It's obviously been very, very successful um, on, the, on the top end here, making me a, a significant amount of money here, yes, on what we consider to be capital appreciation and also the dividends here at 233.97. So this portfolio can work passively while you're doing other things, okay? A lot of people try to get caught up in this whole, well, I don't know what type of investor I want to be. Maybe I want to pick a few stocks. Maybe I want to pick a few ETFs. And they don't really take the time to identify what type of investor they really want to be. What is going to align with what's going to work for you? If you don't have the time to be what is considered more of an active investor, doing research on single stock, evaluating where good entries are, are on certain stocks, identifying where fundamentals may be providing opportunity within individual stocks. Maybe that aspect is not for you. And I contend, and I say this all the time, that a lot of people, if not the vast majority of people, need to be looking at passive investing anyway, because it's the one that requires the least amount of education, the least amount of effort, and one that you can win at over the long term. So it really does kind of give you the trifecta. And this is the proof that's in the pudding. This really does show the power of how certain funds, or in this case, the sectors can perform. And really quickly, I just want to outline here 
how well these have performed on a relatively low amount of money. Now, this account was started with uh, $1,700 on the onset um, in the beginning of 2019. So just going on two years, this will be a two-year review. We're up 35%, not including dividends. So fantastic here. And if you look at some of these returns, this can really help you define, look, I, I want that. And you should. If you're looking to become a participant in the market, try to avoid all confusion that's out there and help you. This should help you identify what type of investor you want to be over the long term. And this is a program that works uh, no matter what in up markets and in down markets, because in down markets, you're funding and you're buying at lower cost and at high markets, you're continuing to fund and enjoy that appreciation as the market goes up. But I just want to bring your attention. We are up in every single one of these sectors. The market's been good. Uh, it's been conducive to gains, but these gains are uh, undeniable. They really are. And so for you guys that are enjoying this, I'm going to uh, zoom in on this so you can actually see these figures. Um, these are some big, big numbers that are rendered uh, by nature of me taking a passive approach in this specific account. Now, I take other strategies and put them to work in other aspects of my total comprehensive portfolio. But as you can see here, some of these sectors that are long forgotten really end up outperforming materials. We've got uh, telecommunications here. Um, we've got utilities here on the bottom end, which has actually suffered here of late. Um, and, and that's fine. New funds that flow into this portfolio will go to those underweight holdings here. Um, but I'm up all the way. And I see the error in a lot of people when they're looking to get involved in stock market and they over assess their capability in the market and they really just miscalculate what type of investor they want to be and they end up seeking a program that's not right for them. This in fact is a testimonial of a real account that I started to demonstrate the power of passive investing and one that should really apply to the masses guys with that we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video all right guys fantastic so we've come out of the review appreciate you staying with me for the totality of these uh, updates we roll them out it's a testimonial uh, to demonstrate with you guys this is a real portfolio with real dollars and really just looking to track the progress alongside with you guys i wouldn't roll out my strategy through social media if I didn't wholeheartedly believe in the value approach to investing and growing wealth long-term over time because I believe that that can actually apply to the masses and really be used and uh, put to work for individual investors looking to build real wealth over time. Guys, if you enjoy the message, subscribe, leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share the message uh, with those folks out there that are looking for introductory information on the stock market. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video and good luck in your investment future. <music>